like in the previous videos uh, we have downloaded the digital elevation models uh, that is from different sources like uh, uh, LAS Pulsar and the SRTM DEM. Uh, adding the data I want to delineate the watershed for a specified region uh, so uh, to do so uh, I want first to add uh, these two data uh, these two tiles uh, so after adding the data uh, I want to mosaic both of these two tiles here you can see that mosaic to new raster uh, we have already uh, done a, a tutorial on mosaic to new raster uh, so clicking here both two new rasters and uh, uh, giving the output location uh, where we want to save our data that is the mosaic file uh, so I'm giving here uh, the position uh, we are our output uh, and uh, you can name uh, anything like I'm giving him the name uh, giving here the name that is mosaic dot tiff and uh, after completing uh, you can see that uh, what is the uh, pixel type so uh, coming towards the properties of the original file uh, you can see here that is 16 bit signed integer data uh, so in the output I am giving again uh, 16 bit signed data and the number of bands which is 1 clicking ok after clicking ok you can see that the tool has run successfully removing these uh, extra files uh, tiles uh, I want just uh, I want just to create only the uh, uh, the delineation for uh, water delineation for only this specified area that is Hazara shape file so clicking uh, extract by mask to remove the other areas outside of the Hazara region uh, so entering the mosaic raster and Hazara shape file uh, output raster may be anything like for example I am giving the name here extracted and uh, extracted dot tiff and clicking ok here the tool run successfully uh, you can see here that uh, the area of interest have be, uh, has been uh, displayed Now I will run all the processes on this uh, uh, digital elevation model of the specified area. Uh, here you can see different types of uh, elevation. White shows us uh, the peak uh, while the dark black shows us uh, the uh, depression. Just to do uh, the delineation process, I will click uh, the arc toolbox. In the arc toolbox, uh, here the hydrology. In the hydrology, I will first fill uh, the voids in this digital elevation model. Uh, after filling, uh, I will run other processes. Okay, you can see. that the tool has run successfully after the fill option or the running tool uh, I will click the flow direction the flow direction show us the direction of the water on the surface of the earth so here uh, the flow direction uh, maybe to the north to the west to the east to the south uh, or northwest, southeast, etc. Here uh, you can see D8 and click OK. This tool, uh, this this uh, this image shows us that uh, uh, the the direction may uh, of the water may be on the different sides, like as I have told you, and uh, like on the right, left, 
like uh, east west north east uh, etc after running the flow direction tool now i will do it again in the uh, flow accumulation so the data which is uh, to be added here that is flow direction and the output may be like uh, flow accumulation leaving all other option as same clicking ok now it will me show it will show me the uh, accumulation of the uh, water and this specified uh, digital elevation model here you can see a, a white line uh, has been appeared uh, this uh, white line shows the accumulation of the water so the highest value here you can see that is 638556 just to uh, show other uh, streams also i want to classify uh, this uh, flow accumulation raster changing the classes to two and clicking classify here you can see that the break values are different depending upon your requirements you can change the values i'm giving in here 3000 and clicking ok apply here are some uh, extra lines have been appeared these lines show us the streams in this particular area I want to display more streams here so I will classify it again change the value from 30,000 to uh, 10,000 ok ok now you can see that uh, different kind of streams have been appeared you can delineate a watershed for any region in this particular area but I just want to create here a watershed here you can see here is the outlet of this particular region so I want to create here an outlet and that outlet would be a point for me now in this case so clicking editor before coming editor I want first to create a point that will be an output for me for this particular area or watershed coming towards the catalog and create a shape file clicking shape file and name it as uh, powerpoint In this case I am leaving uh, the coordinate system as unknown and clicking OK now click editor and start editing to create the point so clicking the PowerPoint now create feature that would be point here and uh, add the point here save edits and stop editing
now clicking the tool that is watershed uh, here you can see in the input it is flow direction raster and in the other one would be a power point that is the point data change the name that is watershed and click ok now it will give me the watershed of this specified area you can see that the tool has run successfully and the watershed is delineated changing the color to be appear on the screen so here you can see that uh, this was the required uh, watershed uh, of the area uh, we can do for other uh, points also adding the power points uh, like uh, using the same process and following the same procedure